So let's head to Winnie now. It was a battle of two and one teams in 10 2 AD1. East Chambers hosting Kirbyville tonight. And we're going to pick this one up early. Kirbyville threatening to score first, and they do. Tevin Samuel takes it into the end zone himself off the pitch after the PAT. Wildcats found themselves out in front, 7 0. Head coach for East Chambers, Russ Sutherland, hoping his team can respond. He won't like this, though. Dory Roberts has absolutely nowhere to go. Six Wildcats bring him down for no game, moving sideways on that one. Buccaneers know something has to go right at this point, and it does here. Dory Roberts, big time carry, good yardage, but again, no points for EC as he gets pulled down from behind right there. Kirbyville would get the ball back. And they go back to work. Sure glad they did is because Brighton Huey takes it to the house for the touchdown after the extra point. Kirbyville rolling 14 to nothing. East Chambers looking to put some points on the board in the second quarter. Brandon Johnson's pass tipped at the line. It's intercepted by DeCorey and Cauley. No points for, for Kirbyville on the next drive. So EC gets it back. They've got a chance to score the field goal attempt by Victor Lopez would be. Let's see it. Guys, yeah, it's good. 14-3 Kirbyville at this point. We'll go to the final in this one. The Wildcats get the road win. 27-17 the final. Kirbyville gets the victory over East Chambers. So the Wildcats improve to 3-1 uh, in district play.